the richest man in town is the biggest man. So who is the biggest whatever, whichever is the richest nation, whichever is the richest culture, power and money have become the highest goals, which itself is a very rudimentary way of looking at life. Because of that, right now uh, I promised the American meditators next two years I'm going to invest a lot of time in United States because knowingly or unknowingly they have taken on the leadership in the world, in a sense. See, if all the American people wear blue workman's clothes, half the world is wearing American's workman's clothes. You just go to any city, Mumbai or Chennai or Bangalore especially, you look down below the knees, more than sixty percent is wearing blue denims. When we have the most intricate weaves, there are over hundred and twenty weaves in the country which are unique and many of them are dying, no other culture on the planet has the variety of weaves that India has. All of them will die, Chinese silk is going to kill it unless all of you ladies make at least twenty percent of your wardrobe into handmade Indian weaves, they will all vanish in the next ten, fifteen years. <laughs> Why is everybody wearing not even American executive's clothes, American workman's clothes? That, as if that's not enough, if they tear their trousers, everybody tears their trousers. <laughs> yes, it's all torn but in a very expensive way. <laughs> now, if Americans put carbon dioxide in a bottle and drink it, even a kindergarten child knows human body needs oxygen, not carbon dioxide. But because America drinks carbon dioxide and says this is the real thing, more than half the world drinks carbon dioxide, you know, carbonated water today. If you go to one of the remote villages here, there may be people, not in this area maybe, but anywhere else if you go, they might not have heard the word yoga, but they know what is Coca-Cola, okay? So, I thought if Americans tear their trousers, everybody tears, Americans wear their pants down in their seat, everybody does the same thing, Americans drink carbon dioxide, everybody does that. So I thought if we can get America to meditate, <laughs> the world will meditate. <laughs> so, we are doing a little bit of a big push in the next two years in United States. We want America to meditate. <laughs> they are kind of getting ready, they are tired of the carbonated water.